Cool guys, welcome back to another review and today we're going to be talking about the Netflix original movie that dropped this last weekend, Always Be My Maybe. So the film's leads, Ali Wong and Randall Park, who play Sasha and Mark, were absolutely great. The chemistry together was awesome. This film pretty much follows the journey of two childhood best friends who end up growing apart as they grow older and then reunite under some interesting circumstances. Now this film is definitely the classic sort of rom-com. It's very cliche at times and not all the jokes hit at every single time. However, it's a very, very enjoyable movie. The chemistry, as I said, between the two lead characters is absolutely amazing. And there's a few little surprises here and there that definitely caught me off guard. If you have not seen the trailer, I recommend you don't see it and just watch the movie and also don't go onto the IMBD page. Halfway through this movie, there was a very, very big surprise, which I'm kind of upset about because I looked on the IMBD page for this movie before, so I knew it was coming. I think if you don't know what it is, it's going to catch you off guard and it's a very like enjoyable moments of the movie so i'm not going to talk too much about that just i hope you guys go see it if you have seen it let me know what you thought about that specific moment in the comments down below because i know for everyone who has seen it so far that was definitely one of the standout moments of the entire movie this film definitely cares for its characters and it was very interesting seeing how each of these characters have grown up and they've sort of gone their separate ways and seeing their interactions together after quite a long period of time not all the jokes worked but there were a lot of jokes that did work which made this movie that much more enjoyable this film had a great supporting cast and it's definitely one of the more better Netflix originals I have seen in recent months. And when I say that I'm specifically talking about their movies, I think a lot of their series are great but their movies haven't been the strongest in my opinion. And what I really did love about this movie as well is it really showed a friendship between these two characters. It, it established that really really well. It didn't go straight into the romantic stuff which I think a lot of these sort of movies can often do. This movie set the foundation as these two lead characters being friends and friends from the start and that that was really really interesting to see how that developed into possibly something more romantic down the line i really did enjoy seeing that development play out in the film but at the beginning of the film we really do believe that these characters are friends and that they care for one another as friends and seeing that progress into something different was really interesting to see and it was somewhat believable i think as well now because the movie is a little bit cliche we do sort of predict where the story is going to go which isn't necessarily a bad thing and it doesn't take away anything from the movie well at least it didn't for me i still think this movie is a very well done and well executed rom-com and i think it does add a little bit more to the genre than the typical sort of cut and paste rom-com story this movie also just felt very authentic there was something about it that just felt very authentic and very sort of from the heart i could definitely feel the the filmmaker's vision in this movie it like felt original if that makes sense so guys i definitely recommend always be my movie it's definitely a sort of feel good movie and heartwarming movie and if you're in a bit of a low place i definitely recommend watching it it's probably going to boost those happy feelings a little bit it's a it's a great film i really do enjoy it. it does sort of suffer from predictable story beats from the sort of genre and it's a little cliche at times but besides that i had a great time watching this movie i really really did i highly recommend it it's definitely one of the better netflix originals that have come out in recent months if you have seen it let me know what you thought in the comments down below especially about that specific moment towards the middle of the movie you guys know exactly what i'm talking about let me know what you thought about it if there's any other netflix series or movies that you would like me to review that's not on this channel yet also let me know in the comments down below i'm trying to review more of the the content that's on these streaming services so definitely let me know what you want me to review next in the comments down below if it's on netflix or amazon prime or anything like that so i would love to review it but thank you so much for watching this video remember you can subscribe and push the little bell icon to be notified every single time i post a new video and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.